After four years of liberal government, many Quebecers have a thirst for change. Taking the thing that is less worse, and that's like that's something that I think that all the Quebecers have been doing lately to just pick what is less worse. <laughs> Polls suggest that voters may be ready to elect a new party, one that's never formed government before. François Legault's Coalition Avenir Québec. Though some worry the CAQ would mean change in name only. I don't think they bring any new idea. They just they just cruise on this like point of change kind of idea. Some are also feeling discouraged by the mudslinging and personal attacks that have colored the final week of the campaign. They could talk about like what they really want to change, but instead they're just attacking each other and it's it's sad. <laughs> For the past 48 years, the Quebec government has seesawed between the Federalist Liberals and the Sovereignist Parti Québécois. That political dynamic appears to be on its way out. Nothing's for sure. Everything is up in the air as we speak, but uh, there's a good chance that Mr. Legault will be heading a minority government. For much of the campaign, the CAQ and the Liberals have been neck and neck when it comes to the popular vote. Because they're so close, the other two parties, the PQ and Quebec Solidaire, could influence a minority government. A lot of people that I've been talking to about the elections, they've all said that the Quebec Solidaire is probably... They're getting more seats, I guess, which is good. While many young Montrealers might feel that way, the next government will likely be decided by ballots cast outside the city in the rest of the province. The CEQ is concentrating on those writings, on those seats, to win. So they might just win the government without having a signal writing on the island of Montreal. Still, Beauvais says after years of covering Quebec politics, he's learned to always be ready for a surprise. And Jayla joins me now from Quebec City. Jayla, there was one issue that not a lot of people were talking about during this campaign, and that's sovereignty. Why not? Well, one of the things at play here might be that the Sovereignist Party Québécois, they have said that if they were to be elected, they would only hold a referendum in a second mandate. And right now and throughout the campaign, they've been polling in third place. But another factor here that you have to consider is that when you talk to the average Quebecer, even if fundamentally they do believe in sovereignty, that's just really what's not top of mind for a lot of people right now in this province. They're more concerned with pressing issues like health care, education, transit and infra infrastructure. So Really, we've been seeing a fundamental shift, at least in this election campaign, in the way that politics in Quebec play out. Okay, Jayla, it's going to be an exciting night tomorrow. Thank you. We'll see you then. My pleasure.